Hi, I'm Toby from Concrete Lab and in this video we are going to apply the smoothing paste to our cast in place worktop. Now when you receive your smoothing paste it is a just add water product so you're literally going to receive a pot full of what is essentially powdered product. Um, you're going to add water to that and mix it up and then squeegee or uh, apply it with something like this. So the first thing that we've got to do is remove the formwork from the sides and this will be the first time that we uh, see the edges of our concrete and fingers crossed it's going to be a lovely smooth finish. So that's come away nice and easily and yeah we've got a lovely smooth finish here virtually no pinholes just one or two that we can fill with the smoothing paste but that's exactly what I want to see uh, nice and smooth so when we tamped it down into the trough it's uh, filled it up completely and we've got a nice smooth face against the melamine formwork let's take the section off the the side so as we take this off now we should be exposing the sub base which is our MDF so it gives you an idea of the profile of the concrete and yeah again this edge is absolutely perfect so so before we do anything else what we're gonna have to do is just take the edges off the concrete here so it's nice and rounded so that we can then apply the smoothing paste. So when it comes to neatening up the edges you have a couple of options. You can use your orbital sander with the wet dry pads and just mechanically take those off uh, or you can use a diamond hand pad like this. They're inexpensive and there is a link in the description below to where you can actually buy them it's a quick and easy job so either option is absolutely acceptable You're literally just rubbing it up and down feel as you go And that's nice and smooth. Well, that's the top edge done, but don't forget to do the bottom edge. What we often find is that when people see the concrete for the first time when it's finished, they will come along and they'll rub their hands over the top and say oh isn't that lovely and then they'll rub their fingers along the underside as well and if you haven't taken the edge off there that can be quite sharp so don't forget to do the underside as well and that's lovely and smooth and with a quick wipe down now we'll be ready to apply the smoothing paste so if you are enjoying this video, click the like button below uh, to let us know that you're enjoying it. Also, whilst you're down there, click the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon next to it. And that means that every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. Okay, so I've pretty much finished wiping the concrete down now, getting rid of all the dust that I created when I was taking the, the edges off. Um, so we're now ready to start mixing up the smoothing paste and applying it to the concrete. So you will receive a pot like this and you will need to add the appropriate amount of water which if you scan the QR code on the side will take you to the instructions. So when it comes to mixing up the smoothing paste a whisk like this from an electric mixer is extremely useful. You pop this into the end of your cordless drill, you put it on a slow setting Dry blend the powder first.
You blend it for a while because you want to make sure that all the active ingredients are mixed thoroughly. So a good minute to a minute and a half. Once you've done that, take another container, add some smoothing paste, probably put in too much of that. It does go an extremely long way. And add the water to the powder. Now I've made that far too liquid, so I need to add a bit more powder now to stiffen it up a little. Again, mix for a while, get any dry lumps blend it in and you're looking for a, a consistency that is like a melted ice cream a little bit more powder there to thicken it up again okay so we've got a nice paste there You definitely don't want it too wet because what we're going to do is spray the concrete down before we add the paste to it so it will loosen it up quite a bit. Final spritz. And we're ready to go. So it's simple as getting the smoothing paste onto the concrete and just working it into all those holes. So because the smoothing paste has slightly different constituents than the actual base mix, then there will be a slightly different colour tone to it. It'll be pretty much the same, but it will add that extra bit of detail that you get with, with concrete and makes for rather an attractive contrast. Take your time when you're doing this. Make sure that you're covering all of the concrete. What you might find is that you'll need to do two passes, depending on how wet you've mixed this one up. And whether you get all the holes, just enjoy the process. Don't worry if you've got to do two passes. Quite common for that to happen. And by passes, I mean apply the smoothing paste, let it go off, we'll sand it off, and then if there's any more holes after that, then we can have another go. Again, as long as you're wearing gloves, don't feel that you can't get your hands in there. Sometimes it's a bit easier to get your hands in there and work it into, into the holes in the corners, for example. So as you can see, just that small amount that I put on has covered virtually the entire top here. So a little bit does really go a long way. Don't forget to do your edges, if you want to. 
there's nothing to say that you can't leave a few pinholes here and there. You might find it a little bit easier to use your hands on the edges. The other area that you should slurry as well, or should uh, smooth out, is the, the, the edges that you sanded. Okay, so that's most of the excess off now. I'm going to leave that for a little while and then come back to it and take the excess off. 